Today's video is my entire Hermes bag collection and I have over 35 bags to show you. Hi my loves, welcome back to my most requested video. Yes, it is finally here, my entire Hermes bag collection. I have got so many goodies to show you. So if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Mel. If you love bag collection videos, do stick around. All you need to do is hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so you're part of my family. In this video, I'm also going to be giving away something. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. And I think the best way to structure this video, because I have a lot of bags to show you, I'm just gonna give you a brief run through of each bag, tell you about the leathers, the size, of course, show you either mod shots or pictures. And for reference, I am 164 centimeters tall, approximately five, four and a half, five, five. So I'm gonna start off with the bags I got this year and then work my way back. Okay, let's start off with my newest additions. And let me show you this beautiful black beauty. So I got this in Hawaii, or I should say my husband actually got it in Hawaii. And that was during our September trip. This is a Birkin 35 black togo leather with palladium hardware. Now it is a big bag, but as I've said repeatedly, big bags are back. I mean, it's not like big bags ever went out, but I just think they haven't been as popular the last few years. But for me, because I'm more of an Hermes collector, I feel like I always want a variety in my collection. And you'll see that as I go through the different leathers and sizes and everything that I own. Especially in Togo leather or Clemence leather, the heavier leathers, eventually over time, this bag, if I'm just holding it like that, it will sort of sag over time. But to keep the structure, definitely recommend an insert. But this beauty, I'm glad I own a 35. I love it. I wanted it in noir. So very happy I got this. Next up is this Hermes backpack. And this is called the Hack Ado. Last time I actually said the Kelly Ado. So apologize, this is the men's version. So it is the Hack Ado. It's just that the women's version is called the Kelly Ado. But this one has the single canvas strap at the back, whereas in the women's version has two straps. So this is hubby's first Hermes bag. I'm so happy he got it. I just think it looks so good on him. A lot of girls actually either buy this one or the smaller size and wear it because the smaller version, you can actually wear it in the front as well. So this is also in Togo leather in the color Blue Nui, this dark blue, also with palladium hardware. I think palladium hardware always just adds a bit of youth to it. And since we're both in our 40s now, we always like it to look a bit younger, but this is gorgeous. And I'm just so happy that hubby loved it. This is quite a relatively new style. I know a lot of you loved it as well and was just as happy for hubby as I was. So this was also from Hawaii. And then the final bag that I got from Hawaii is this little cutie. So this I did have on my wish list. I love the color Mauve Sylvester. It is this beautiful, pink with a purple undertone. It is just a gorgeous sort of pastel -y shade. The mini Evelyn I'm a huge fan of. And I think for you guys that are looking for more of an entry price point Hermes, go for this. So it does also come with a shoulder strap and I forgot to tell you the leather. So this is in Clemence leather, even though this is a heavier leather, because it is such a small bag, it is not heavy at all. Inside it is all unlined. And then so going back especially with bags like this I like to have structure so this is my 7rp insert and I already had this one from my other mini Evelyn which I'll show you soon in baton and I like to protect the inside of the bag because it is unlined and another fun fact is that Hermes does not spar the inside of your Hermes bags so especially for bags that are costing tens of thousands of dollars or even if it's a few thousand dollars you want to protect your babies so this fits perfectly in here and it just is 
as you can see, a perfect fit. And it's got some organization. You guys know I work with 7RP. This video is not sponsored by 7RP, but I've worked with them for over five years. I visited their atelier in the south of France. I've seen how these are made. They take ages to make. Actually, each artisan can only make about four or five a day. And I keep getting asked, Mel, can you please ask them for a higher code? And I did. So 7RP make inserts for the Evelyn, for the Birkin, for the Kelly, for the Picatin. They also make inserts for like Chanel and Dior, but specifically for Hermes, that's how they began. And I actually interviewed the owner. It's a very interesting video. I'll we'll link it above. It is very eye-opening. Anyway, the code is MIM100 and it's only valid for five days, guys. And you can get a hundred euros off your order. And that's the highest discount code and exclusive for the MIM fam. And also, especially for us Aussies, because we're so far away, we always tend to have to pay more for shipping and everything. So just for Aussies, input the code MIM free and you will get all your shipping and duties included. So that has never been done before, only for Australia, because yes, we are so far away. So Aussies input MIM free, rest of the world, everyone can use it, input MIM 100 for 100 euros off two inserts and you can pick any which one in any colorways. This is just in cray, it matches everything. And they've actually just released two new colors. I don't have it yet, but I want it. One is in mauve, like mauve Sylvester. That, that would be perfect for this. The other color is blue pond. Basically, it's this beautiful bluey green shade. It is divine. So definitely would love to add that. Actually, the blue would look nice in the black, wouldn't it? But anyway, that is the final bag that I got from Hawaii. Next up is the cutest little bag. And this is what my husband surprised me with for my birthday. And it is this tinsy little baby. This is the Picatin Micro. It is in the Lucky Daisy design. It's in the color chai, the main body, and then the little flowers is in rose. So this is such a tiny bag, but it is so adorable. I love this color because I don't own anything in chai. It's such a beautiful neutral, actually. It also has palladium hardware. And then also the leather in this is swift. As you can see, it's super, super soft, but I absolutely adore it. Next up is what I bought myself for my birthday. I didn't know this was gonna come in. It is from my local Melbourne boutique and it is this gorgeous Birkin 25 Cellier construction. And as you can see, Cellier stitching on the outside. Retourne means you can see the piping and it's more relaxed. Return, relax, Cellier, stiff. That's the easiest way to remember it. And this baby is in blue broom. The leather is Epsom and the hardware is palladium. So when I got offered this, this was exactly what I wanted. And I just love the Cellier construction. I mean, I am a big fan of Kelly's in Cellier, but I, this is my first Birkin Cellier. And then the matching Twillies. And then as I've said to you, in all my bags, I store them with 7RP inserts. So this is just an old one I have in orange. But I do want to show you the blue broom. How good of a match is this? I need to get one for this. Another fun fact about this is that they're actually water repellent. So you don't need to worry about any spills or anything. And this material is in Alcantara, which is like the finest sort of like suede like material, but it's used to line like the best of the best yachts, sports cars and everything. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that because a lot of people haven't seen blue broom in real life, but it is beautiful. So that is what I got for myself for my birthday. Next up are a couple of pre-loved or vintage bags. Now I'm a big believer in buying pre-loved and vintage. So as much as I love buying new from the boutique, if you don't like playing the Hermes game, absolutely you can go the pre-loved route. Just make sure you're buying from a reputable reseller or consignment store. But anyway, let me show you this bag which I also got earlier this year. And this is a discontinued bag. It is from 2007. This is the Hack 28. Hack 
autocohua. So it's 28 because it measures 28 centimeters across. This is in Epsom leather. The color is gold and it does have gold hardware. And it's got the little hack lock. That's why it looks slightly different. Well, the turn closure, I should say. And I bought this from a Hong Kong consignment store that's very reputable. It's just in a fabulous condition for being like 15 years old. I own a lot of gold, Hermes gold. I think Hermes does this gold or tanny color the best and i love this one because they don't make this size anymore i was hunting around for a hack 28 for ages and i like it because it's sort of like between the birkin 25 and the birkin 30 probably more similar to a birkin 30 like it's skinnier but it's slightly taller i love having different shapes in my collection and i wouldn't even mind adding a hack 32. Next up is a very understated bag very very low-key i think you either love it or you're not too fond of it. And I'm talking about the Bolide. And my Bolide is in the size 31. It comes in like four different sizes and a couple of different sort of variations. The one that I have has the patch of leather here. It also comes in the Bolide 1923, but that's a little bit wider and a little bit, not squared off, but this one is more in a dome shape. So this one here, I actually bought on Farfetch Pre-Loved and I got it for such a great deal. I was looking specifically for a box Bolide. I love box leather. I know box leather people are really afraid of because it does tend to scratch up, but over time it patinas with age and this is a testament to that because this bullied is from 1994 making this bag 28 years old i don't even think you can tell it is 28 years old it has a few sort of scratches on it but i don't mind at all i think every sort of pre-loved bag has a sort of story to tell and i think a lot of fans of box leather they just love it it is such a heritage leather you can i would love actually a box kelly next you can find some amazing bargains on the pre-loved markets for bullies i would still love to add the size 27 which is one size down from this or maybe even the mini but the 31 is a great medium size and i just think it is such a classic beauty and the final bag that i got in 2022 and this was all the way back in january when i was in hawaii again this was a super special one because it is my first hermes exotic bag and i'm talking about this little baby so this is miss natalie as named by you guys natalie because the color is nata this gorgeous sort of cream color and it is just divine so this is in ostrich with gold hardware even the strap is in ostrich as well let me just show you because it's too cute not to and this bag, I was just so stunned to get it. My essay surprised me with this. I was really hoping for an exotic bag. I would still love a lizard. Love, love, love a lizard. It's all got the ostrich on the strap as well. And it's just so, so cute. I think this bag is the hardest to get out of all the quota bags at the moment, or the very, very limited editions but it is such a cute bag. Yes, you can't fit much in there. An iPhone 14 Pro does fit in, but you know, it doesn't leave that much room for a lot, but you can fit all your essentials. Okay, so let's move on to the bags I got in 2021. Let's start off with this beautiful bag. And this bag here is a Birkin 25 in return or retiné as you can see there is piping along the edge and this bag is in itan togo leather with rose gold hardware and this one i actually got from a singaporean consignment store they have a physical location like near orchard road and the eclair tillier you know that i've worked with them for a couple of years so this bag i got him to source for me the reason why i did that was because i had missed out from my local store and this was the exact combination I wanted. So I think in those instances, if you wanna to go to a consignment store or a reseller, then that's a great option. 
and isn't it just such a stunning combo it's my only bag with rose gold hardware i would love more bags in rose gold hardware i've just got some dior twillies on there i really need to get me some hermes twillies i just haven't found the right combo but as you can see with all my birkins and kelly's i love to accessorize them plus it protects the handles but i got this for christmas of last year so that is miss itan the next bag I also revealed last year during Christmas, but this one has a little bit of a story and in, I'm talking about my Kelly 28. This is in the color Anemone, this gorgeous purple. It is the Kelly Cellier, as you can see, Cellier structured with gold hardware. So with this one, you guys may or may not know, I did get a Birkin 30 in the exact combo gold with Epsom, but it was in a Birkin 30. And so I got that from my local boutique, I think in 2020 at the start of the year, but you know me, I'm much more of a Kelly girl. And because I worked with a Claire Tillier and things like that, we did a bit of a swapsie. So he got my Birkin 30 and I got the Kelly 28. And this one here, I've kept the same name because Miss S named my last purple Birkin. And since it's in the same color, this is Miss Royal because purple, is the color of royalty, right? And I just want to show you because I did get this. So 7RP did gift me this insert, but they also do make them in these gorgeous Liberty fabrics. And you can just tell the construction is second to none. Like 7RP inserts are creme de la creme. I would only use them for my Hermes bags. That's why I've worked with them for five and a half plus years since they started actually. So look at that match i'm gonna actually put it inside the bag to show you now and i actually do have one from a while ago this is very similar to the color they have at the moment the limited edition red perfect for christmas but this one it needs a new one <laughs> and i already know it's going to be a perfect fit but oh it's so beautiful look at that pop of print inside it is just stunning. So if you need any help deciding your insert colors, just leave a comment down below. I'm happy to help you since I own most of their colors that they have, except the newer colors. But yeah, totally a Kelly girl because the Kelly does come with a strap and the Birkin doesn't. That's the easiest way to differentiate them. So yes, that was also revealed last year during Christmas. Moving along to a couple of super rare and unique vintage Hermes bags. I told you, you're gonna see quite a variety of bags, leathers, styles. So this bag is a discontinued style. It is called the Hermes Gigé. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, in the GM size. And they don't make the size anymore. They still do make the one that's a bit shorter than this. But this one here is hand painted. It is from 1994, so 28 years old again. And what makes this so special is the leather. It, well, it's pigskin, but in French, I think it's pronounced poupo. Again, I hope I'm not butchering that. But you can really tell from the pores of the leather and for the condition of this bag, it is just sublime. I got this again from the Farfetch pre-owned section and I got it for such a great deal because, you know, I had some credit with them. I used my own 10% off <laughs> discount code. So it's been hand painted and as you can see, it's got kind of all this sort of bridal and knots design, which pays homage to Hermes equestrian roots. And then inside, it is just all in canvas line. You can see the really old dust bag in there. But another way that you can wear this is that I was supposed to get this done, but I haven't yet. I wanna get an insert made with little loops so that you can actually carry it as a shoulder bag too. But I love how oversized it is. It's a really chic sort of oversized clutch. And I just think it is super special. Next up is another very unique and interesting bag. And it is this one. So yes, it is an Hermes bag, but this one was actually created by, I think an artist, I can't remember her name, but back in 2004, 2005 for an exhibit. I first saw this 
in Marianne's collection. So Marianne is the founder of 7RP. She's been an authenticator collector for like 30, 35 years. And I saw it and I thought it was just so unique. So what it's made out of is like 20 different scarves, like strips of the silk scarves. And it is all sort of like laminated into this sort of plastic casing. So you can't feel the scarves, but every single bag looks different because, you know, it's random, the placement of the scarves. So I thought that's so cool. Imagine back then going to an exhibit and getting this. It's, yeah, amazing. And I actually found this from a French consignment store, French vintage store. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I found it because these are really hard to find. So it's called the Hermes Cadusac. And even on the handle, it's even got the Hermes Paris label that was from the scarves that they've sort of sewn in there. Love those details. But yeah, this is just such a unique piece, such a talking point. And I think I got this and the Giget mid last year. The next bag is a super cute little dumpling bag. I was never a fan of this bag until they brought it out in the mini size. And I'm talking about the adorable mini Lindy. And this bag I got from my local boutique mid last year. And this bag is in the color blue Frida with palladium hardware. I knew for the mini Lindy, I wanted a pop of color. And you know what? This color has not been that difficult to match. Even though it looks so tiny, it actually packs a punch. I remember taking it to Hawaii with me and I loved it. The Lindy does come in a few different sizes. If you like the bigger sizes, you can actually find them for really good prices pre-loved at the moment. But the mini Lindy, I think this is the hottest out of all the Lindy sizes and they're pretty hard to get even in the boutiques. But if you love this shape, so you can hold it handheld like this, or obviously you can hold it on the shoulder or cross body, I do recommend it. It's just something different. If you're not a Kelly or Birkin fan, this is such a cute bag. And I forgot to tell you the leather because there's just so much to remember. So this is in Clement's leather. So again, a very durable leather, but I think it's so cute and I love the bright color it comes in. Okay, next up is a bag I had on my wish list for ages. Could not get it from my local boutique, could not get it overseas. So again, I went the consignment or reseller route and I'm talking about my stunning Kelly 25 in Cellier. And this is in my favorite Hermes red, Rouge Cassac, a true red with a blue undertone with gold hardware. And this is in Epsom. Quick comparison, 25 versus 28. I have done an in-depth Kelly comparison video. So if you wanted to see the different sizes, 25, 28, uh, I will link it above. I probably still need to do one with 32 and 35. Would you guys be interested in that? Like a whole big Kelly encyclopedia, do comment below and let me know. This again, I did get from Eclair Atelier, based in Singapore. A lot of resellers and consignment stores are based in Singapore for some reason. You guys, I would love to go visit. I need to come to Singapore, don't I guys? <laughs> but yeah, I just really love this color and I wanted it specifically in the 25. The next Hermes bag is like the sister or the cousin to the Kelly and I'm talking about the her bag. So mine is a vintage version again. I got it, I think at the start of last year and I cannot remember where I got this from, but it is in such good condition. I remember getting it for a bargain price because this is the older version where it used to come with two separate canvas bodies because you can interchange them. So the body of the bag is in canvas and the leather, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it is a cowhide leather, like a raw cowhide leather. And there are definitely scratches on this, but it's okay, I don't mind. I got it for such a good deal. If you're looking for a bit more of an understated bag, you like the Kelly design, definitely look at the her bag. They are really well priced, not only in the boutiques, but I think I got mine for around a thousand, which was like a total bargain. And the best thing is that I actually showed this in a video, but you actually can flip this canvas inside out. So one now it kind of looks like 
a cellier, but when I flip it around, it looks like a retorn. Not a lot of people know that, but I can. And then this one here, when you flip this inside, this pocket goes inside. So this is from 2001, so 21 years old. I think she's looking mighty fine for her age too. So a great understated bag. You definitely can pick this one up for a bargain price. And the final bag that I got in 2021, I'm pretty sure I revealed this like mid-year, but I did get it a few months before. And this was also from my local boutique. And again, this is a very special one. Definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but mine. It is the limited edition Birkin 35 Cellier Rainbow. Specifically, this is the sunset version because it looks like, you know, the colors of a sunset. They also had sunrise, but I liked the sunset colors better. And this has, it's in Epsom leather. As you can see, it's Cellier. Rouge Cassac, Magnolia, this is Blue Agate, and then Apricot. And as you can see, the construction to make this is not easy at all because all the lines here are kind of like curved, like the rainbow. So all the way around, that it would be so hard to make. And this bag definitely is my biggest bag. So I think this is such a fun bag, another very unique bag but I love it and I just think, I just look at her and she makes me happy. So this is my Rainbow Birkin. Okay, going back to 2020. 2020, as you can see, not as many. We couldn't travel because of the pandemic. However, it was my 40th in 2020. So I got this beauty, which my husband got for me, but he sort of like narrowed it down. And I love a sort of like bright bag. This is called Miss Sunshine as named by you guys again, because it is such a happy color. So the color is Jean Ombre. This is Clemence leather, gold hardware. And again, I got this from Eclair Tillier because we were working together a lot in 2020. So I got this for a very, very good deal. I really love the return. It's more, much more of a relaxed look, as you can see, piping on the edges again. And yeah, I just think this was a really fun color. So yeah, that was for my 40th birthday. Next up is the oldest Hermes bag to my collection. She is like, 46 years old. I know, right? And it is this bag here. It is called the Hermes 2002 bag. So the newer version of this bag actually looks different. It's wider, so it's not as tall. And I believe the straps are a bit longer. But this is from 1974. So you know how I always say a lot of brands always dig into their archives and then get inspiration from them. So this was the original 2002, but they modified it slightly. But it sort of gives me, in the construction wise, it's similar to like the Constance. I don't own a Constance. I did, but I don't have it anymore. Hopefully get another one soon. In terms of the closure, you actually have to lift up this flap. Okay. So I guess with the Constance, the H logo is more obvious, whereas in this H, if you like a more understated bag, it's sort of more curved and a little bit more abstract, but inside it's like got the accordion style sort of construction, similar to the Constance as well. I was so surprised at this condition. It is in box leather in navy. So there are scratches throughout. I'm not sure if you can see. There is a back pocket and I just kind of wear it as a shoulder bag. Definitely looks more vintage, but I think for 40, sorry, I miscalculated, for 48 years old, nearly 50, she is looking fantastic. So next up, actually guys, I did get a bag from my boutique. I meant I didn't get a quota bag from my local boutique, but I did get this very versatile baby. This is called the Kelly Dance. And I love it because there are so many different ways you can wear it. It actually comes with a very, very long shoulder strap. It's very, very thin, but it enables you, whoops, to play around with it so much. So I've brought this traveling with me. It's very, very handy because the bottom can kind of fold up. It's got 
like a removable base like this. So as you can see, it can fold up like that. I use it as a belt bag. I've used it as a top handle. You can use it as a backpack. I've actually got 10 different ways you can wear this Kelly Dance. And so this one here is in gold again, but the leather is actually Evercolor leather. So the grains are definitely smaller, but still very, very soft. So yes, gold with gold hardware. So part of the Kelly family, very versatile. If you love a super versatile bag and it's not a quota bag, still pretty hard to get, I recommend this cutie. And the final bag that I got at the very beginning of 2022 is another Kelly. So I am so glad I chose this color because after that, this color blew up. So what is this color? It is gray pearl. I got this from Eclair again. So quite a few bags from Eclair. This again is in Evercolor leather. So it's like a good mix sort of between, I guess, Togo and Swift maybe. It's got a smaller grain than Togo, but it's not as soft as Swift. So you may enjoy this for those of you that wanna try something besides Togo because this is pretty scratch resistant as well. And then it has got gold hardware. So that is my beauty called Miss Pearly. All right, how are we all going? This video is gonna be long because there are a lot of bags. So I'm trying to go through it as quick as I can. But the next beauty is super special. I got her from Paris, totally unexpected, but with Paris, it's a bit of a lottery system, isn't it? It's still a lottery system where you have to apply for appointment and then hopefully you get an appointment and then after that, it just depends whether you get a bag or not. But anyway, I got this beauty and this is Miss Sakura and she is a Kelly 25 in Retourne. This is Swift leather, so super soft, but honestly not as delicate as you may think. A lot of people are very scared of Swift, but I do own a couple of bags in Swift leather and they've held up beautifully and palladium hardware. This was pure luck. Paris is one of the only cities where you don't have need to have any spending history and you can get a Birkin or Kelly. Though I hear Paris, it's getting pretty difficult, but it definitely, definitely can happen. Rose Cora is one of the most desired pinks and I completely understand why. Talking about not buying anything and being able to score a bag, Hubby scored this bag and it was when we were in Prague in 2019. I think September or October, I can't remember. But anyway, we went to the Hermes Boutique, he clicked with an essay and we got offered this. Actually, we got offered between two choices. There was a 32 or 35, but I love this color. So this color is Vert Supreme and it's this gorgeous dark green. Sometimes it can look black in the light. It is Togo leather, but this Togo leather has very minimal veining, gold hardware, and it is a big bag. But the Kelly 35 looks smaller than the Birkin 35 because the Kelly isn't as wide as the Birkin. So really, it's not as huge as you think. It is a bigger bag, but I love me a big bag too. Comes with a shoulder strap. It is just gorgeous and especially in bags like this. You can see the structure of my bag is still as good as new and that is because I always store it with an insert. And this color here is a toupe. So perfect with this. That's another bag I'd love. I still don't own a toupe as a colorway. And that is my biggest Kelly bag and this one is Mr. Cypress. And the last two bags I got was actually when I was invited to Hawaii for the grand opening of their Hermes Waikiki store. Such a good event. I was very, very privileged to go, loved it. And on that trip, I got my Baton Mini Evelyn, such a cutie, worn it heaps. The Mini Evelyn is also a great, or even the Evelyn 29 is a great travel bag. And this is in the color Baton, in Clemence leather with palladium hardware. So I've kind of talked about this bag already when I showed you my Mauve Sylvester. It also comes with a canvas strap, unlined as you can see, but I need to get another insert for this. But so cute, I can't highly recommend enough. And then finally, the other bag I got on my Hawaii trip is my first mini Kelly. And this is in the color Rose Extreme. So this very bright pink. 
and it might have a slight maybe red undertone to it palladium hardware such a cutie i was so wrapped to get this oh and in epsom leather you know i would love which i don't own a bag in chev which is goat skin that would be amazing in a mini kelly but i'm really happy with the two mini kellys i got okay now we come to 2018 2018 was quite a great bag year for me in terms of Hermes. I got three bags again in Hawaii. That was my very first visit in 2018. And I just clicked with Joyo. And honestly, I met Joyo through one of you guys because you guys recommended me. So thank you so much to Miss T. You know who you are. And let me show you one of the bags that I got. So this here is my Picatin 22 and this also is in Clemence leather and what makes this one special it is the Picatin touch because it has a touch of exotic along the handle. This is in black alligator and then another thing that makes this special is that it's got gold hardware. Most Picatin come with palladium not as many come with gold though they are making a lot more in gold and the Picatin is another Hermes bag that is at such a fabulous price point. I was using this the other day so I've put my lock somewhere else but inside this one here definitely you need an insert so this is just in the graphite color and what I love about their inserts 7RP inserts again is that one thing that I love about the Picatin is that it is sort of slouchy and their inserts are soft enough so it still has that dumpling sort of shape like it doesn't affect see like the slouchiness of it but you still have all the organization not sure if you guys can see that but yeah I really like the Picatin bag and the 22 is not too big as well. Now I own three different sizes, which is really cool. I believe these used to come in an even bigger size, but I think 22 is big enough. So that's one of the bags I got in Hawaii at the end of 2018. And another bag I got is... My first Kelly 25. This is in the Cellier. It is in blue onk, blue ink, and it looks like that. Epsom leather, palladium hardware, just a great color. I thought this color might be a little bit difficult to match, but it actually goes with denim really well. This blue kind of has a bit of a, I guess a violet undertone to it. And this bag here, I've just grown to appreciate more and more. So I was just so happy on my first visit, I actually got this bag. It was completely by luck. And then this one is called Miss Lilo. Again, named by you guys. And then the final bag that I got in Hawaii at the end of 2018 is my little Kelly pochette. I think this is such a cute bag and it is only sort of like a top carry bag, but easily you can convert it into a shoulder bag. So this is in rose poop, this darker pinky color and palladium hardware, swift leather again. And this one, what I was saying is that you can easily get an insert and get them created with loops and then turn this into a shoulder bag. For the time being, I've just been using my Hermes Farandole chain and then you can loop it onto the bag and then it becomes a great shoulder bag. So yeah, another cute little bag that's part of the Kelly family. Next is a bag that I got from my local Hermes boutique. This is in Collins Street. That was when Melbourne only had one boutique, but now we have two, yay. And this was my, I think this was my third bag I got from Collins Street. And it is this stunner. So this is a Birkin 25 in Rattan. The color is Magnolia, Togo leather with palladium hardware. And this pink, I actually really, really like. A lot of people were doing comparisons between Magnolia and Rose Poop. And as you can see, the colors are pretty different. This is a lot darker. This is a lot more vibrant. And I was worried that they would be too similar because when I got the offer for this in Hawaii, I was like, oh, is it too similar to Magnolia? But I'm glad I went for it because it is pretty different. Same sort of family though, but there's something about this magnolia, this pop of pink that I just adore. So that's another baby bee called Miss Poppy. Next up is my biggest Kelly bag. Sorry, I said my Vert Supri was my biggest, but no, this is my biggest Kelly bag. I remember revealing it and a lot of you loved it. I actually got it from eBay. It was super, super affordable, like 
under 500. You still can find them now. And it is my Kelly 40 transparent bag. And this bag here was also for an exhibition. And as you can see, it's got the date here from 1997. So definitely vintage. And it also came in orange. I think it started off with a different, like a smaller version because they wanted to see all the contents in. So they gave, the invitation was like this smaller Kelly bag so that all the people that were attending this exhibition, uh, they could see all the things inside. And then later on, they did this bigger version. I think it's just super unique. You can put all things in and see all your items, but you know, all your cute little SLGs. Admittedly, I haven't worn this bag that much, but I'm still really happy to have it in my collection. I remember I gave one of these away and you can still find them on eBay. My little tip is just make sure you look up really close because you know, they are pretty old, over 20 years old, like 25 years old. There are some that have yellowed with age because it's plastic, but the one that I got, look, it's even got the original little note there uh, in Japanese. It was a Japanese exhibition. But some say 1997, some say 1998. So if you love something a bit quirky, a bit different, the Kelly 40 transparent bag. And then the final bag that I got, which was also from my local Melbourne boutique, this was in Collins Street, at the very beginning of 2018, was my very first Picatin. This is in the size 18. So the Picatin also, like the Evelyn, Mini Evelyn or the Evelyn, it is unlined. So again, definitely important to protect it. This is my 7RP insert, perfectly fits the bag. And this was the one that I used in my Kadu sack, you know, the one with all the scarves before. And again, a perfect fit. So this is in Clemence leather, but this one is in the color few i think that's how you pronounce it. it means fire this vibrant orange and just a quick comparison 22 18 again i've done an in-depth comparison of these two if you want to watch i will link it above and you know what you can do you really easily can attach a shoulder strap on it's got these two square d rings and i just use a canvas strap and you can just clip it on there and make it into a shoulder bag so very easy to convert as well but i kind of like to use it on the crook of my arm or just hand carried but that's my little picatin 18. okay let's move to 2017 and 2017 was definitely the year of neutrals. And one super, super special Kelly is this one here. My Kelly 28 in Cellier, black noir with palladium hardware. And hubby actually scored this in Paris during our anniversary. It was I think that was the start of the appointment system then. And we both got an appointment on the same day, same time. I had no luck, he had luck. Sometimes guys have more luck. I don't know, what do you guys think? And I couldn't think of a more perfect anniversary gift. I remember I was just beaming from ear to ear. I love the black with the palladium hardware. It was on the top of my wish list and he, he got it. And it's just perfection. I love the Cellier. If I had to pick between Cellier and Retourne, I think I like Cellier a bit better. And I've just worn this bag to death. It's one of my most used Hermes bags and it's just so fresh with the palladium hardware. And for that reason, this bag is called Miss Annie because hubby scored it during our 18th year wedding anniversary. And next is the second bag that I got from my local boutique. The very first one, I actually don't have any more. It was a Black 30 Epsom, black with gold hardware. And I actually let that one go maybe about three years ago. No regrets. But yeah, that was my first one. So this was my second one and it was the color I was after. Just perfect. My first Birkin 25. This is in the color Gris Tortorelle my favorite neutral, palladium hardware. Gris Tortorelle actually came with rose gold hardware. They brought that out a couple of years ago. I would have loved that too, but I still really love it with palladium. Again, inside matching, I went tonal on tonal this time. And because this is a Gris Tortorelle insert, so it goes perfectly, but yeah, love this bag. Oh, and this is also in Togo leather. 
Next up is a bag that you don't see very often and it's got divided opinions, but personally, I love it. I love the casual vibe. And I'm talking about the Hermes grooming bag. So I haven't seen one of these in Hermes for a long time, but I do believe they still sell it. I'm not 100% sure, but this is actually in the equestrian section because it's like a horse feeding bag, as you can see from the shape. And so it's in a bucket shape canvas with a few bits of tan leather trims in cowhide, just a strap. You can detach it on one end, but you can't detach it on the other. I guess it's to go around the horse's neck, I guess, as a feeding bag. But this one I've actually worn a lot more than I expected. It's such a great spring summer casual bag. I just chuck whatever I want inside. I'm not too precious with it. It retains its shape. If I find any of the bags that I've shown in my collection, I will link them down below. I will list them in the order I've spoken about. But yeah, it's been hard to come by this grooming bag. I think it also comes in orange, but I love the natural canvas material. I just think it's really casual and I, I wear it with my dresses a lot. So that is my Hermes grooming bag. And I also got this from my local boutique. And the final bag I got at the start of 2017 is this Gigi clutch. So this one they do still sell in Hermes, though I think it's the duo now. I think they still have both. So this is the Gigi Elan. This color is in Agile. This beautiful, yeah, it's, no, it's a different tone. This one's a bit more creamy, but a gorgeous neutral nonetheless. It's got the H. It's like my hand-painted GM clutch, which I showed you before, but this one is just shorter. It's quite thin, so, but you can put your essentials in there. I tend to use this one more as a clutch because I, it looks a little bit awkward as a bag. I actually own another one, which I'll show you soon. To be honest, I don't use my clutches that much, but I still love to have this in my collection. Okay, we're on the home stretch. We are going way back to 2016, the time my Hermes journey began and I actually documented it for you guys as well. But let's start off with this beauty. This I got for my birthday in 2016 from hubby. He actually got it from like a friend's relative. We call everyone auntie, but an auntie and never used. And he got it for retail, which was such a good deal. And it is also a bag that I've used a lot. This is in the size 32. So a Kelly 32 retourne with palladium hardware, gold with Togo leather. You know, the 32 guys really isn't that big. And if you look on the pre-loved market, you'll find 32s or 35s going for really decent prices. So if you don't mind bigger bags, go for this one, especially the 32 is actually not that big. I would totally go a Cellier 32 in exotic, like in an alligator, totally influenced by Marianne from 7RP. She only really wears 28, 32, 35, and she's also super petite, but they look amazing and just so chic on her. So this bag, again, I use this bag a lot. I just wanted to show you see this is gold in togo and this is gold in Evercolor. i don't know if you can see on screen but this is definitely darker and this is lighter so that just goes to show how the leathers take on colors differently yeah there's so many different hermes leathers i can't even keep up they keep coming up with new ones i don't own everything but i have quite a varied collection of leathers but yeah this bag love it don't think it's big at all so glad i have it in my collection and then going back to mid 2016 when we had a big family trip to paris and europe that's the time where paris didn't have the appointment system i still have my video where i told you guys the ordeal i went through like i fully woke up and went to line up at the store every day and had no luck until my last day and then i got the one and only Miss Mally, my Birkin 30 in my color, Malachite, Togo leather with palladium hardware. I remember when the sales associate opened it up because this was a color I requested, I just died and I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And yeah, I still remember telling you guys that story. Comment below if you've been around since then when I did that How to Score Birkin and Kelly way back in 2016. I think that's one of my first few videos because I started in 
May 2016 YouTube. Gosh, time flies, doesn't it? So this bag is so sentimental. It will never leave my collection. It's my first Birkin. I love her so, so much. I would love another Birkin 30 actually. A Birkin 30 is a great size and, and great for any height, any shape as well. Just a very good medium size bag. And what was I gonna say? Togo leather. And I store her exactly like this with the insert inside. Uh, that's in Anamone by the way. You know, sometimes I like to do contrasting colors. So no regrets. I'm so glad I went for a pop of color as my first Birkin, but you know, you go with what you love, but this was just like a dream come true for me. And then finally, the very first bag that I got, which was also from Paris Mothership Store. I did say Miss Mally was from Paris tonight. Yeah, I did. But I think it was on the first or second day, I did ask for a Gigi. And so I got, this was my first Gigi clutch. And this one is in the color Bougainville. So I think like the flower, this sort of like reddish tone, but not like a true red, like Rouge Cassac and Epsom leather. Again, I've shown you that when I showed you my Argile one, the neutral colored one. This one is more durable in Epsom. Funny enough, I reach for this more than the neutral one. So maybe I don't need to, but I'm very bad at letting things go. I know guys, you keep asking me to have a vlog sale. I, I may do soon, but it's just, yeah, I'm a bit of a collector, self-confessed collector. But yeah, this was the first bag that I got in my trip and I still use it. I still think it's a great color, definitely pops an outfit. So that is the final bag in my collection. Who's still with me to the end of the video? I know it's a long one. I, I tried to go through it quick, but with over 35 bags, that's a lot to say, but let's get to the giveaway part. So I told you in my November to remember, there's going to be giveaways happening. This one is pretty special because I sourced it. It's, let me just open it and show you. So it didn't come with a box, but the winner will get this box, which is in my own box. And since it's a bag collection and you know me, I always love to find things that are a little bit different and you can't actually buy this from the store anymore. It is pre-loved, but in pristine condition. And I found, dun, dun, dun. So guys, this is actually the Bolide pouch. They do still sell this, but usually it's in cream. And I didn't want cream because I thought maybe especially since it's in a fabric, it may get dirty. And sometimes I've seen it in black, but when I saw this denim version with the tan trim, I thought it was perfect. Now we all love sort of like a hack. I always tell you about my hacks, whether it was the YSL hack or a card holder hack. And this is another hack I have for you. And the Believe pouch actually comes with two little side tabs. So it is perfect to make into like a mini sort of crossbody or shoulder bag. So this is a chain, which is very similar to the one Hermes sell in terms of the necklace. So this one I've never used. And so I attached it on because it was perfect because it's silver hardware. And inside, it's actually like a travel bag. And inside it is all sort of like in that water resistant material. It is still, Hermes made in France. It's got the label here. How fabulous is this denim? It will go with everything. And then once you put a strap on it, it completely changes the look of it and makes it such a chic bag. You know, even little things like on the zipper, you've got the little H. I love little details like that. And I just think it is so cute. And you know what? It even fits your phone inside, no problem. So how cool is that? I, I thought of the idea and I thought, you know what? Maybe I need to get myself one because I love a good sort of little hack. And yeah, I'll have to find another one in this color or another color. It's hard to find vintage ones or pre-loved ones in good condition, but this one was in pristine condition. So one winner will get this little Belide pouch. 
the strap, it will come with the Hermes box. I will find a dust bag for it. Hermes ribbon, the whole lot. So I hope you like that. I just wanted to find something different for you. So I wanted to do little giveaways planted in all my videos. So I hope you like that. And all you need to do is make sure you're one, you subscribe to my channel, hit all notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Two, comment below. What was your favorite two bags from my collection? And then three, leave your either your email or your IG handle so it's easier for me to contact you. Now guys, if you get a message saying, oh, message me, you've won a prize, those are scammers. I don't have Telegram, I don't have WhatsApp. I, If I leave you a message, it will be a voice message with my voice so you know it is me. And I only have one email as well, so please be careful of them. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna leave this open for two weeks. And within this whole month, do keep watching because I am going to be doing more giveaways, but thought it would be great to start off with this cute little Hermes bag first. And then it would mean so much to me if you share this video as well. If you like my content, give this video a thumbs up. Also, I have a super thanks, which is a new feature which I've never used before. I was thinking guys, instead of all the money coming to me, if you guys wanna donate any amount you want, I was thinking we could put it into a kitty and then I can use all the funds to spread the love and donate half to charity and then half into a fund where I keep finding you guys like either vintage things or items that you may love. What do you guys think of the idea? If you do, please send me a super thanks. I'm not keeping any of the money. It's just going back to you or to charity. I just thought we could use the little super thanks and spread more love into this world. And you know, I, I love supporting a lot of charities it's personally something i do anyway but yeah what do you guys think of the idea if you do maybe you can just donate like a, a, a coffee's worth or whatever you feel comfortable with also don't forget to use my exclusive and highest code which for aussies import mim free to get free shipping and duties it saves a ton of money. And for the rest of the world, put in MIM100 and you can save 100 euros if you buy two inserts. So I will leave my discount codes down below with links to everything that I can find. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it was worth the wait. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for your support always. It means a lot. And I will catch you really soon in my next one. Bye, guys.